Welcome! Today we want to install Horda the Bookmark Everything app on your Unraid server. Horda has some prerequisites to get installed on Unraid. One is a container called Browserless, which is basically a headless version of Chrome, which it uses to create screenshots and text downloads from website to archive them. The second one is called Miley Search, which is a search engine which enables Horda to have a blazing fast search in the background. So we will get started first installing all prerequisites and getting them together and then installing Horda itself. Before we start installing the containers we have as a prerequisite for Horda, we need to create a Docker network if we don't have one yet. We will use the Docker network to make sure that the containers can talk easily to each other. To create a Docker network, you just go to the terminal, open up. In this terminal, we can now directly talk to the Docker engine running in the background. And uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to see if we all have already a Docker network installed. To do this, we use the command docker network list and just press enter. And now we see we have only the default network installed and we want to now add a new custom Docker network. We can easily do this with the command docker network create followed by the Docker network we want to create. In this case, I want to use proxy. If we now use the command docker network list again, you see now we have a new proxy, a new docker network called proxy. This is all we need to do for now. Now we can start installing the container. We have prerequisites starting with browserless. To install browserless, we just search for it. And we find two versions of browserless. We have uh, version one and version two. From my experience, version two works a bit better. So let's install this. Just go, go to the browser's version two, click install. And this brings us automatically to the overview of the settings that we need to configure to get this running. The first thing I like to do is change the name of the container to something that helps me find it later, especially if it's a prerequisite for another application. In this case, I will change the container name to Horder browserless. This helps me to, to later easily identify it. If you go a bit down, the next thing you can see here is that we have a Playwright driver URL. This is the URL we will later use to connect Horder to the browserless container. So copy this away and we adjust it in a bit together. Then further down, you see the network type and we can switch the network type now to our custom proxy network we just created. After changing the network type to proxy, we can look further down what else do we need to adjust. Um, most All of the things can stay as they are. The only thing we want to look at is the token. The token is a security token that is used to ensure that only authenticated applications can and should talk to the browserless plugin. You can change this to whatever you want. For this demo, I call it my token. You can adjust this to whatever you want. Just make sure it can be passed as a parameter through applications. And that's it. We have our first Docker container installed. We click apply and wait until everything is downloaded. After everything is downloaded, installed, we finished. Now let's check if everything is installed correctly. If we go to the Docker page, you now see our Horder browserless container running. And uh, if you have not yet, click it to auto start yes. Now let's install the second container we want to install, which is Miley Search. Also here, just go back to the apps page, go to the search bar, type in Miley Search, and you find Miley Search directly here. Also here, just click on install. First thing here again, just change the name to Horder Miley Search uh, to make sure we can easily find it. We go a little bit down. We see the network type, the network type we switch again to custom proxy. Go a bit further. And here we have something that's important, which is the master key. The master key again is a security token that is used from Horda to, con uh, to talk to Miley search. And we want to make sure this is configured correctly. Otherwise the search will not work in Horda. We have multiple ways to create this key. One of the easy ones is use the OpenSSL function in the terminal to create a random key for us. And we do this together. Just open up the terminal again and put into terminal OpenSSL space RAND space minus space 64 space 36. 
This will create a random key that is base64 encoded, encoded in the length of 36 fast. Just press enter. Now you have the key, copy the key. And close the window again. Input the key into the master key field and press show more. Here you can now also disable the analytics and press apply to install Miley search. After you're done, please also make sure that you save the key away from Miley search for later so you can configure it into a hoarder. Let's look into the Docker page. As we see here, we have now hoarder Miley search also running in the proxy network and we have it set to auto start true to make sure it start up next time again. Next, we need an OpenAI API key to make sure hoarder can later talk to ChatGPT to automatically create the tags and the summaries. To do this, we will just go to the OpenAI website and create a new key there together. So open up a new browser tab and go to platform.openai.com. Here, if you have not logged in yet, you need to log in or create a new user account. After you have logged in or created your account, you can go to the default project. If you click on default project and go to manage projects. Now you can see on the left under project, the API keys. Here you go and create a new secret key. If you just click on the right on the create new secret key and give it a name. In this case, I would say it's hoarder key. You keep it with the project you want to attack it to. In my case, it's a default project and you adjust the permissions according to your preferences. Um, for this demo, I will keep the permissions on all. You just press now create secret key and you have your new secret key. Just click copy and store it away for later configuration. That's it, now you have your own OpenAI key. It's now time to get Hoarder up and running. So let's go to apps again, click on the search field, type in Hoarder, and in the Hoarder app, click install. We are warned again that there are two requirements. We have already installed them, so we are good to go. In the configuration, we also switch the network to our custom proxy network so they can talk to each other. We go further down. And the first thing that we need to do is here is also create a new next odd secret. We can do this again with our OpenSSL ran function. So just go to the terminal, call again OpenSSL ran base64 and just copy our string we have here and we're good to go. Next thing we need to configure is the browser address. This is where we will put in the long string we, uh, we had in the browserless add-on. I've prepared it here and I will walk you through it in more detail how it's set up. Now just paste it into the browser address and we're good to go. Make sure that the name and everything matches. The next thing is we need to put in the Miley search address and also this is quite easy. As we are using a dotting network, we can just put in here the name holder Miley search and use the port as it is. So we have now the, conf uh, the communication configured here. The next thing that we need to configure is a Mali search ma master key. This is a key that Horda uses to authenticate against the Mali search container we have. We configured this a step earlier, so copy it from your notes uh, into this field. The next step and the last step is to configure the OpenAPI key. We already have this generated in a step earlier, so just paste it here. After you have the OpenAI key pasted here, just press apply and Horder will be installed. Now as Horder is now installed, we can just click done and go to the 
Docker page again to see if everything up and running. So we now have Horda running, browserless and Miley search, and everything is configured. So let's start it up and see if it works. Open the web UI and we welcome with the sign in. So just go to sign up and sign up for your own Horda instance. After you sign up into your own instance of Horda, it's time to get started and to bookmark some things. I will start with adding a link into my Horda and I think it's only fair to start with the GitHub repository of Horda itself. So just put in the link httpsjitter.com slash Horda app slash Horda to get started. If you press save, after you press save, the application will automatically start to get the information. You already see now that browserless got a version of the web page and created a nice screenshot for us and OpenAI automatically created the text for us. If we now go into our hoarded app, you can use this button here to open it up. And on the left, you see a version of the text from the website that has been downloaded. If you go to the top, you can switch this also, for example, to screenshot and see a screenshot version of the page at the point in time where we added it. On the right, you see the AI functionalities. We see the text that have already been generated. As well, you can use Summarize with AI to create an AI summarization of the page. Let's do this now. And you see here now, OpenAI has generated for us the summary of the page, which is hot as a self-hostable bookmark application designed for users to save links, notes, images, and so on, and so on, and so on. I think this is a really nice feature. So now let's go back to Horda and try to bookmark a bit more. One of the other projects I currently really like is Homepage, which is a nice, as the name says, homepage for your Unraid server. So I want to bookmark this as well. So just go to new item, put into the URL, https get homepage.dev, press save. And now the magic is happening in the background again, where our browserless is getting a screenshot of the page and we see it also created text for us, which is application dashboard. If we go into the link, we can see again on the right side, the created text as well on the left side, you can also look at, for example, at the screenshots that has been taken. And now let's go back. Now let's also add a text to our holder application. In my case, I will just add the lorem ipsum text and press save. Now let's see if the search is working. Just go to the search bar and type in a word. For example, if I would like to find all bookmark links about Horder, you just go in and type Horder and you see it's blazingly fast finding our Horder app. If you want to find something with homepage, for example, we type in homepage and you see the homepage app is found. If you say, oh, I'm interested in links around AI, AI put in AI and you see it automatically identifies Horda it has something to do with AI based on the AI tagging tag. That's it. Now you have a full running Horda instance on Unraid and you're ready to go. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and otherwise have an amazing day and get bookmarking.